Hi, right, we're back. Let's play chapter two. Pen, pen, pen number, pen number, pen number. What the fuck is happening? Oh, we're we're able to jump into the memories now instead of just looking at them. Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it's as important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you oh. okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? I could probably oh. change the outcome now. I wish. No, I'm just... Really happy you're here with me. Oh. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh, what were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Publisher? I've been shopping a collection around for a while, and someone made me a deal. Awesome, Sophie. That's oh. phenomenal. Was this your big secret? You didn't tell her? I thought she'd have been the first. I didn't want to jinx it. Aren't you always telling me not to tempt the universe? I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Of your mother? Is no one going to take our order? It's been like a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I can go ask. I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. <laughs> the whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? Oh, oh, oh. What, what is that? Trying to go back. Uh-oh. Oh, it's happening in... Oh, shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Oh, wow. Wait, I can see post? Oh, wow. I can see notes. Yeah, whatever. I'm glad we did this. A snapshot. Yeah. I still can't believe Safi is here, alive, having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I swear, one day I'll get a candid of Safi. Okay, I have to be, I have to be quick. Living? Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, 
these really are the worst lines I've seen. Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Oh. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. Did they? It's just, you asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kind of sucked is all. Oh, Ooh, is this the so, same day? So I asked you out. I mean, that's how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted two. to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship because Sophie isn't dead. So are you going to tell me what happened? Oh, those are both bad choices. I drank like way too much the other night. I've been in kind of a state. For two days? <laughs> Were you kids mixing liquor and paint thinner? <laughs> I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. Hmm. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. Oh, wow. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same. Except... Sophia's here. We learned that she got published. I bet I beer tastes just as bad in me. this reality. Feels connected to that humming and whatever caused it. Okay. Yup, this is definitely the source of the hum and my nosebleed. Let's poke it with a stick. Gender neutral bathrooms, we love to see it. The source of the humming. But what I'm setting aside shift timelines. Also, oh, this is the real universe. Right? Holy shit! I'm I'm back, aren't I? In dead world. This is so fucking crazy. Oh wow! Wait. Um. I'm sorry, just not texting you back. I've been in a few weeks today, looking at phone depressed. I hear Max deal with this. Not long. Thanks, Max. I should try to get a little rest. Hey, Max, thanks for taking a minute to talk with me in the fab earlier. I need to die. There's something else, but probably best not to say over text. You cool to meet up? Yeah. My gut tells me it's not good news. Um, imagine doing softly, softly. Do we should talk? Um, what the fuck? This is Max. Did you but text me? Sorry, that's the thing. Got a mind of its own. How could Vin mix me up with Safi? Mm-hmm. That's weird. Okay. It's just so sad. New message from Vin? Where? You didn't even know her. I can still think it's sad and scary. Oh shit, this is the Amanda I talked to this morning? Let's talk to her. Max, you're here. 
I'm here. Surprise. You good? Thanks to you. I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. Hmm. Good person. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Hell yeah. Oh. Another Polaroid from our mystery photographer. A Christmas present. It's gotta be Chloe. No, Tony, I love it. I do. Oh. It's as thoughtful as ever. Tony. No, no buts. Only. I know you. If you send me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You'd love them. Right. Next year for sure. Oh yeah. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. I mean it. Love you back, babe. Oh wow. Oh so oh okay. <clears throat> Whoa. Am I hearing stuff from that other world? I didn't see Moses in the snapping turtle though. This makes no sense. Also Moses is uh I'm sorry for your He has a partner already. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh, I, I understand. Oh, she wants to be alone. Get that. At least she's just drinking coffee. That's a good thing. Another Yasmin. OG Yasmin? She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. No Christmas decorations on this side. Okay. Canceled the Christmas party. I guess that makes sense. Oh. Do people get shot all the time? Is there one over here? No. Oh, there's pictures over there. the way back across okay well i guess let's go back oh that's just you know a doorway okay, to so dead I can world. cross back and forth that's good to know Safi and yasmin are probably wondering where i am i should get back to them wait hold on i think there was a photograph over here oh This truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, what's this? Jesus Christ. 
Every time I look at that thing, it's like a fresh jump scare. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? Do you like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh, sweet. Another newbie. Hope you come. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, let's go back. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. <laughs> Nothing to worry about has been happening a lot. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's oh. easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safia. Is that your car? Driving, right? Oh, so this morning. Someone's after her. What do you think did it? Do you have any idea who did it? No. But if I ever find out, it's on site. They couldn't have picked a fight with a Volvo instead? No. This is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Uh -huh. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. Looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rocky. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. Okay. Hold up. Sophie's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? Who in this day and age? I mean, who else? Doctor Yasmin Fayad, it turns out. Would be responsible for that. This is the only person that can I talk to her again? Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. <laughs> the whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Sophia's car was vandalized. Yeah, let's do it. Honest. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. Huh. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Hmm. Did you see anything... Interesting. ...suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Any time, Nancy Drew. Okay. Another thing we could do <clears throat> is um go back to the dead universe. And look at the skull thing. See if there's anything in there. 
Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. Hi, Max. I'm just reaching out to see if you've heard from Moises. He's been closed off the past day or so, and I'm worried about him. He needs time. Give him some space. Uh-oh. You're probably right, but it's not good to internalize this stuff, you know? Oh, I know. Hmm. Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. Interesting. No Christmas decorations on this side. Let's see. Let's see if there's any lettering. There she is, safe and sound. No. Fuck. Size <laughs> does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Yeah, I don't know. No. I'm just saying, I wouldn't be able to... This is outside. Safi came to visit Moses in our lab all the time. She'd bring him hot chocolate when we'd stay late grading, and sometimes she'd bring me some too. So, go be a consultant. Get away from the Caledon murder funk. My mom would hate it if I didn't graduate. She's so proud of me for being the first one in my family to go to college. Ooh. <clears throat> What's here? Oh, no, that was nice. Looks like there's nothing here. Maybe this is where the cat content's at. How oh, unfortunate. I wish I knew that earlier. So literally right here. Stepladder around here somewhere? Where, dude? Can talk to her? No, I can't. Hmm. That's the way back across. Gender neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Ah. Tim, the keys 
back. Hank Bach. You're welcome, dude. Help timid guy get to the bathroom. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> right, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so there's an Amanda. Oh, there it is. Mine. Oh, so I could take items and then take it to a different world or universe I'm in. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead world. Okay, now I think <clears throat> I could put it back or put it over here. so stylized I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Who the fuck Lucas is that? Colmenero. Oh shit. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. Lucas? I need to think. Who the fuck is what Lucas? What is going on? The teacher. <clears throat> Someone checked a cow skull through Sophia's car window. There have been Lucas must have said Sophia had a Lucas guts if there was a bad blood there. Maybe Lucas took it out. Missing horn was signed by Lucas. Hmm. Very interesting. What if it's not just a prank? What if this Sophie is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. So I have to solve the case in both universes? Oh shit. Find the skull rustler. Save Safi. Hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. It's not the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter, too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. Mm -hmm. I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just gonna out themselves. Okay. A lot of better stuff to do. Oh. Now, if I were a bovine vandal, where would I... Yeah, definitely, dude. There's Vin. If it was Abraxas that stole the cow skull, they might have done it on Vin's orders. It's not as difficult, though. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. Hmm. Suspect number... I think it was three, but now two-fifth. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, 
you bring it right back to me. Oh? Well, go! Find it! <laughs> Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Hey, you were a kid once. Like He's not going to like that. Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. Hmm. What does Vin have been looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Hmm. I feel like he's trying to get something to give to Diamond, speak to Living World Diamond and the North Quad. Because all of a sudden he uh, he changed as soon as she came out. That's, that's probably what's happening. The snapping turtle looking for volunteers at the Lakeport Soup Kitchen? Amanda really is the best. Oh, I don't know. Alright, where's that man? In the North Quad. Wait, where the fuck is the North Quad? Um, no, 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 we'll come back to that later. Since it looks like there's two objectives over here at the fob, fab, fob, let's do this instead. Knock it out, get her out of the way. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. Yeah, we can do that later. All right, let's see what's up with this, uh, this teacher. Now the... I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Now that was on their good side, but then since that fucking podcaster a snitch on my ass. <clears throat> let's see how we could finesse this. Oh, what's here? Okay. Gwen was acting really. W Can you give <gasps> me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. Oh, shit. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. Oh, shit. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here too. But at least. <laughs> oh, let's do some snippy. I wonder what that was about. I'm in. Uh oh, please don't come back. Please don't come back. Please don't come back. All right. So Man, what? This Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police mm -hmm. and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. Yeah, hey, I mean, like, why, why are they like acting weird talking about the cops and all that? Let's see. Let's finesse. With the way they hustled Gwen out, 
Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Uh huh, uh huh. Rita doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a B. Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. Hmm. The only thing here must be still here. You look easy to hold the uh, keg. I just got an email from All right. and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe, babe, pick up the phone. Claudia? I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. Okay, okay. What's the next one? Um, Dr. Hunter? This is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and see if you're all right. What the fuck? I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Okay, could be an innocent call, or that could be the side piece. <laughs> never do what Gwen there's no good what way to say what is this about there's no good way to say this but yes man put me on an unpaid leave uh, pending a disciplinary meeting I'm not supposed to talk about the details but if you hear any rumors please know I would never do this I'm not stupid or desperate I don't know how long I'll be gone so can you water my plans some of these little guys have been thriving for years now and I'm not letting Call then kill them. I owe you a drink. Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Hmm. Interesting. This is checking Safi. So many suspects in this game. A little difficult to keep. Oh. Lower Loretta's grade. <laughs> Let's do it. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Let's do it. Fuck Loretta. Oh, you're other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well. <laughs> With the way they hustled Gwen out, I don't think these students are getting their. Okay. Well, there's that picture. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. Okay. Damn, talk about a green thumb. Oh, uh, is this the book? I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Alright, hopefully... Oh, my more? I'm going to read this, I swear. If I ever have time for pleasure reading again. Hopefully that book is still here, the one that, um... That they wanted me to get... Okay, that's everything. Time to do everything again? But in a different universe. Okay, she's not here. This thing looks older than Caledon. If Sophie was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? Gwen is guilty of plant neglect. Although. I can't really blame her, considering the week we've all had. Wait, what universe is this? The dead one. Wait, what was that? Oh. Oh my god. 
Gwen seemed very focused on that book I boosted <gasps> for her. Oh. Busy woman. Oh wow, this is like a very different type of energy than the other one. Oh, she seems all happy in this one. And then in the other universe, she seems all pissed. Between Gwen and Kate. Oh. Oh. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before <coughs> all this? Oh, that was weird. Ch cheeks on and the professor's. It's like a bumper face. sticker evolved into a bookend. Wait, why would I post this? No, the, wait, oh, fuck. Well, looks like I... Oh, I have a Polaroid. Oh, okay. Fiction, non-fiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? Okay. I think it's time to check this. The only thing... Oh, wait, hold on. <gasps> the note. Gwen is asking questions about Safi's death. Hey, Ar, did you see Safi at your poetry group on Friday night or at all over the weekend? If so, did she seem off? Did she mention getting any news? Leave your answers in the book and return it to the library. I don't want any everyone to know I'm asking questions. Why are you asking questions about a student? <laughs> DJH saw Safi at poetry on Friday. And for coffee on Sunday, she seemed fine, seemed happy. Didn't mention any news that I heard at least. Is everything okay? This is all kind of freaking me out. Mm. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Hmm, interesting. Using a book to pass secret messages? Lit professors are so extra. Looks like Gwen's a popular girl. This is the same message? I appreciate your condolences. You know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. There's a few things I need to get in order. Whatever the case, I'll see you at the staff meeting. You should get the call from Vin later today. Hmm. Maybe they're a point of interest now. Hey, babe. Just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Uh, they're too busy for their wife. Hmm. Interesting. Hi. Professor Hunter, this is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. I wouldn't blame yourself? Hmm. These emails are from way back. Like, before something knew she wanted to be a poet. Thank you again for letting me turn in my memoir piece and verse. I'm really into poetry this semester. How can you inhabit your own words more comfortably? Thanks again for being willing to read this. I had written down while I felt her. I'd fucking explode. Do you think anything here is weird? I'm writing about her. 
pissed off. You never feel weird for wanting to write about pain or whatever. It is that clogging. It is that's clogging the pipes in your mind. The poem is raw and honest, and I can tell my advice is to be more specific and personal with the last line. What does it mean for you to no longer feel anything else? I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. Hmm. Hmm. It kind of seems like they might be messing around. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Kind of sounds like that. I don't know if I should water these because doesn't that be like you water my thing? I know you went in there. Interesting. Okay, let me see. Maybe if I go here, I'll change. And more. I bet Gwen's wall calendar will have the info I need about last Friday. Ah. Where the fuck is this calendar? You would never do... What? Gwen cancelled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Okay, I already read this. Wait, so... I would have to check... I would have to check this world again? Ah, fuck it, let's water it. Why not? Wilson. Drink up, buddy. It's gonna bug me if I don't do it. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. When the first or the fifth hand semester ends, praise Kennedy, stupid motherfucking call with Maria. I know what Gwen talked about Maria about. What the fuck? How am I supposed to know that? All right, Hacker Max. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled? Thank you again for taking the time to talk to me and discuss concerns you raised with my senior editor over the weekend and he agrees there are sufficient merit actions. I'm reaching out. Hi Maria, I'm reaching out to follow up on our conversation from Friday. I know I dropped a bit of a bomb on you, but have you had a chance to discuss my concerns with your senior? I appreciate any update. Oh, so maybe this is... Wait, but why would the cost be involved with that? These emails are from way back. Like, before something knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. Okay, I already read all this. I thought Gwen helped Safi set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow. They've... Okay. Hold on.
Wait. No, she's dead. She got left by the cops. Or security took her out. Okay, we're good. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. Any message? Oh, wait, someone DM me. Oh, Amanda messaged me. Max, I just heard so, uh, this is Max. Almost forgot. Keep the salad in the fridge and it'll keep. Wait, what? Keep the, keep the salad in the fridge and it'll keep for a day or two. The bread a little longer. I promise it won't go bad. Ah, uh, she's circling back. You're very welcome. Okay, I don't really care about these. Oh, are going in the kitchen, in the living room, and my work. Were you sick about them? Okay. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Wait, so what are we doing now? Speak to living world Lucas in the fab. Okay. So let's go back. Oh. Uh oh. Fuck. I need to find a port. Oh, there it is. What the fuck is that? I, wow, just wow. All right. <laughs> okay, now we need to find Lucas. The first was this. Damn, I didn't know a phone booth could feel like a personal attack. This looks like one hell of an art final. I should check it out. Talk to the future. Okay, uh... What do I want to say to the future? At the Pasco, you can't control everything. Some things are going to be out of your control. And that's okay. That's life. Let it surprise you. Hear from the past? Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What he's doing is wrong. It always felt like it was, but now I know it's true. <laughs> I was starting to think my writing just wasn't good enough. How fucked is that? But she stood up for me. Nobody else has ever done that. Ever. So you know what? Fuck that guy. I won't stop writing because he's uncomfortable. That's my message to the future. Wow. Whatever he was talking about, I hope it worked out. <laughs> Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone. Okay. What do I need? What do I need to talk to? <gasps> I need to find a criminal. Is this the criminal? No, it's not. Where or oh, where is Lucas? Oh, Lucas. 
The cow skull had Lucas's name on it. He might know something. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> where the fuck is he? Okay, I'm in the right area. Can I go up here? No, I can't. Uh oh. I think this is. Yeah, I was already there. What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad. I've got questions. Mix. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Yep. Let's work our magic. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Safi's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. I got you, I got you. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. <sighs> his notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full. Okay, where's the portal? Here we go. Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. What the fuck? Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. Maybe I'd take go too far. Ah, fuck it, stand on business. I wasn't gonna stand by while you used Sophie to pump yourself up. Wow. I never had a chance with you, did I? Not with Sophie in your ear. She never really mentioned you. <sighs> a chance? I find that hard to believe. Oh, wait, she's not a student. Uh, I don't know. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? It's hard to miss. Yeah. Better to put butts in the seats, huh? Here's hoping. <laughs> the standards for the expo really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. <laughs> How am I going to get that key? And years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I, I forgot. Like I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. <laughs> I don't want you to distract Lucas. Okay. Gotta be this. Brother seems like he has a big ego. Huh. 
I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to yeah, this. Near it, near now, it. what can I use to do some permanent damage? Coffee? No. Oh, new person. Oh. Marker. Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Oh my god, I completely forgot about Chloe. Where the fuck did she go? Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? Mmm, black eye. Black eye for sure. K.O. Your winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Max Caulfield! <laughs> oh my goodness, who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. <laughs> we'll see. Others for sure gonna crash out. She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody really busted up your face on the book expo standee oh, oh, oh. are you serious i just put that <laughs> oh, I just... some people just have no respect for other people's property wait while well, he's there can i do anything here the infamous cow skull oh no never mind nothing i feel like it's haunting me never mind nothing Alright, alright. Let's see what we got. <gasps> oh shit! Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Park here. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car. So, who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying though it is. Oh, let's take this. Lucas was an AA? Oh. Good for him. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh. Gun range or Did Lucas <gasps> go to a gun range? Uh, Does Lucas have a gun? Oh, I would definitely take that. His agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? Park where he wants anyway. That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? Okay, what else? I think that should be everything. Wait, email. Publish magazine. Tabloid. Hold that expo. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, please don't see, please don't see, please don't see, please don't see. Sophie? Temporary restraining order. Protected person Lucas. Protected person's minor children. Restrained person Sophia, Sophie, Sophia. On more, on more than one occasion, the restraining restrained person purposefully did not uh, did one or more of the following to the protected person and or the protected person's uh, minor children. 
follow, monitored, and surveil threatened or made threats, interfere with property, the protest of person is certified that those statements are true. Lucas. Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Safi? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you- Lucas, this isn't- You can't tell her. What? You can't send Safi that photo. Let me explain. Okay. Please. Bro, why would you put your phone there? <laughs> Catherine. My ex-wife, she called last night. Mad as hell. Because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... Mm. The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it... It makes me sick to think about. Was Catherine lying? Was Robbie lying? Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention? No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean... Where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. Oh. I know she's capable of it. Hmm. But Robbie didn't say it was Safi. He said it was you. I can't explain that part yet. Maybe he didn't say that exactly. I don't know. Catherine won't let me talk to him. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Safi's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. Okay, then. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? I mean, it is just talk. Come on, dude. You're right. I have no reason to believe you over her. <laughs> You're not as good of a person as you like to pretend, Caulfield. <laughs> Maybe you and Safi deserve each other. Oh. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Let's spin the block. <laughs> he fucking knocks me out. <laughs> The living world, damn it. Beat the living world, diamond and north quad. Oh, diamond, admin building, north quad.
من ذا بس في فيصل Hey Sophie, that you might want to know what Lucas is up to. A whole restraining order, Jesus, get a grip. Oh, Monero? Thank you so much, Max. Trust, I'll deal with them in my own way. Oh, shit. Uh, we'll see if you got good music. I feel threatened now. Hey Max, I'm trying this new number someone gave me. Also, wait, hey Max, just trying out this new number someone gave me. Also, good morning. I get a morning start for suckers, she didn't have to say it back. I'm just stuck about our date. Cool, guys, you're busy, so hit me up when you can. Hey, sorry. If I was a little hard on you, just don't be a stranger, okay? Who is this? You weren't. I totally get why you were upset. I won't be a stranger, I promise. Thanks for saying that. So are we okay? Yeah, we're good. Wait, so this is... Oh. This is not the real universe. Well, GG to that relationship. Horse diamond. Oh, diamond. This is a work of art that came from a strange and tortured mind. That's cool, though. Oh, diamond. Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Snow David? Interesting endeavor, maintaining snow art. I feel like I should say. <laughs> it's free. Art student prank or horrifying creature the world may never know. I can't wait, look at those. Nothing things. like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? Okay. Is this diamond? <gasps> it's about fucking time. Waiting for someone, diamond? Mm hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. What even qualifies as unabraxis like? Let's see. Sincerity, brokenness, or oh. the hint of brokenness. Oh, and challenging Vin's authority. I think. Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. <laughs> the goon <Good> squad. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> he knows too much. Hey, shh. Huh? Oh. Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for, and 
I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Okay. Now how would I do that? Oh wow. Safi told me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. <gasps> Glad I actually get to see that here. Another one. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Diamond a gazillion points. Reggie zero. I thought we said no more ambushes. Stop whining. You're fine. But the snowball war got called off in Dead World. I don't think this is the other timeline. It must be some other one. Hmm? What? Very, very interesting. Oh, yeah. I don't think good cop, bad cop is the dynamic that the author was aiming for. The author? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Love that guy. Hmm. So how am I supposed to do this? What did Vin put these guys up to? What did Vin put these guys up to? What's this done? I should see what those Abraxas bullets are about to Ven's lackeys aren't in this world, but I might be able to hear them from uh, the side. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Does he use the past or facial rate which is your walking? I'm not sure why. Holy shit. Someone took Vin's phone and they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Okay. Then let's go back. Oh, diamond. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Vin's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do! Of course. <laughs> I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. But if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. <laughs> What's with you and Vin anyway? You're kind of an anomaly in the Brexit. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... One of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit.
You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. Oh. What if you're in charge? Vin's pretty entrenched. No. The Vin Lang mold seems pretty resilient, Diamond. Everything does, Max. Until it isn't. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. Oh. All right. I think we've done everything. Real question is, what's up with Moses? Can we... Wait, can we talk to Moses? Oh yeah, brother might be cooked. What was that? Metalworking is kind of like photography. You never know quite how the environment will shape your work. That person skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. Okay. Were you talking about Minecraft? No. How do you say that? So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues? I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after seven. Blood put down the Zaza, man. Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> Mike. Yes. Oh, what game Damn, are you playing? I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? I'm flattered to something, but... Sounds like a profoundly underwhelming evening. Oh. Don't knock it till you've tried it. He strikes, but then he misses. So... Owls. Someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but... Oh, Blade and Sorcery? How skull to do it. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? Is it? Okay. Yeah, I never played it. You mean I have my VR stuff, but I think. Rax right there. Would. Right there. Down there. Right there. I don't play anymore. Well, I, it's just a bitch throwing up, you know? It's sure. esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your uh, organization. A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. Where are the friends? Is this easy to set up? Mm -mm. One of my computers are one computer streaming and playing VR. My computer can't handle that. So that's why I have two. Well, actually, no. The first one I just fucked up on Max Center. <laughs> no, I'm trying. Uh, if I'm streaming it. I uh, can only play it through PC. Unless I cast the gameplay, but yeah. But what is he talking about? The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? 
Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Ooh. Wild, right? I loved keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And uh, if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Oh. Uh, he knows ben, I cooked his ass. What did you do? Is that delay? Really? Speak to the living world, Ben, in the admin building. Admin, admin, admin. Okay. Hmm. I finessed them by saying random statements. <laughs> So suspect number four slash five. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Jumped into Let's suspect. See if I can't make this canary sing. Jumped into suspect number two. I really hope that's just coffee. Oh, where's brother posting? Oh, where's there a lot of people here? Hi, Mama. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's red. Yeah. He's probably back at his desk by now. They use like those face mask things. This is what I use. She's staring holes into Yasmin's portrait. Wonder why. All right, let's see. This is nice and all, but there's an actual barista just next door. I right, see. What do we got? Guess Vin found his phone. Yeah, the face mask thing that goes around your eyes. You put her on like a face mask and then you put on the VR mask. I use that it's since I have glasses and all that. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle. Just that was good luck finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't normally sound like that. About that drink, about that cow skull. Um, it starts off. You still want to get that drink? Come again? You told me your favorite liquor earlier. I assumed that was a not so subtle hint. Oh, right. Um, bougie Japanese brandy or whatever. Didn't you say whiskey? Oh. So you were paying attention. Well done, Caulfield. You passed my test. Okay, then. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Oh. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. This smells like bullshit. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seemed fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> A Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Can you just... I don't know. Um, I'm not at my best right now. Yeah. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good <laughs> thing I know another Vin. 
Ah, okay. I got the quest here. Yeah, I want to get the third one eventually. If I start playing VR games again. But yeah, I haven't been playing like that. Jeez. Somebody robbed an airport lounge. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. Oh. I think we all feel a bit busted sometimes. Oh, why would I take a pick? Is that a tarot card? Oh, hell no. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. He looks kind of like he's trying to read my mind. Do you think he can? <laughs> Speak to that uh, world event about his passcode. I'm pretty sure he can already read mine. Fucking shit. Oh. oh, Max, <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? Are you drunk? Oh, Max, it's just you? Just flatter him. What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance... Oh, I might hesitate getting workday slosh and- Oh, you have the third one? You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. Join me? How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Sophie? Yeah. Okay. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Everything is about Sophie nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Mm. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought she was gonna get undressed. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. Mm, minus five sexy points to me then. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> <laughs> You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? I'm right, playing Clash Clans. <laughs> A little damp. Occasionally torrential. That was so sick. Okay, what did dude. you do when you weren't drinking on the train tracks? Took pictures mostly. And? Acting like Natron. I swear, was. I'm not that interested. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I like you, Max Caulfield. Oh. Oh. You feel haunted. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Don't worry. It's good. Uh, haunted people are interesting. Maybe on TV. Oh, God, brother. In real life, for me. haunted people have to live inside their haunted brains. Yeah. They do. <laughs> I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben? Oh, here we go, here we go. Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> well, 
There goes my Friday night. <laughs> what the fuck? Finn does owe me a favor. Call it in and save it for later. Let's see. Is there a way to finesse it? It's not boring, it's just, I gotta... <laughs> One of my buildings were done, was done building, so I had to figure out another thing to build before the battle pass finishes, and so my rewards come, and so I use all my items instead of it getting filled. Um, let's save it for later, fuck it, finesse it. I have a question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Never. Jack Parsons, <gasps> occultist rocket scientist. Oh, maybe. What about him? No, I Nothing, haven't. Nothing, really. I just... They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey... Any more questions, and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> oh. Right. Of course. Uh-oh. Jack Parsons. Surely this place has a book on him somewhere. Jack Parsons. Why do we Jack Parsons? Okay, so we still have a... Why so serious? Okay. <laughs> Why did that Loki kind of scare me? <laughs> okay, Encyclopedia. Do you have a certain occultist rocket scientist for me? All right. Twelve nine two. Are we really doing this? Okay, let's see. Magnetism, cold spots. Twelve nine two. Twelve nine two. Twelve nine two. Pretty sure. Oh, I got it. Oh, right, but hopefully I didn't have to remember it because, um, yeah, I don't remember. What do they mean? It's called a three card pull. This one represents my past, a magician. It means I'm exceptionally talented, though. What's up, Tal? You already knew that about me. Magician, a card resourcefulness, cre creativity, and power. The manifestation of dreams. Present, the nine of wands. Upside down like that, it means I'm exhausted, feeling vulnerable, and, well, guilty as charged. What an amazing guest vocalist. Very controversial. Ronnie? Ksh. Ksh. Ronnie Radke? Ksh. That's the only controversy person I know. And this is... Crack out to me? Oh! Wait. Another one? Wait, who was the last one? Uh. And my future. The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. A.K.A. Okay. the Fuck Around and Find Out card. I got it. <laughs> I think I'm about to find out. Boss. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did, um... Didn't you already have a song with him? Or is it the same song? <laughs> that, I re that I heard already. Or I might be tripping. It might be someone else. Voting. Fear of the future. I think so. It's the spice of life, Max. In my experience, we tend to cause the exact thing we're trying to avoid. Where were you last week? <laughs> okay. Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Where is brother's phone? 
Hedgehog, ask about. Aw, poor little guy. What happened to you? She just can't catch a break, huh? Not even at a time like this. Alright. Unlock Vin's phone. And what universe, though? Hmm. Oh! The other universe. Since for some reason he can't figure out his password. That's your Halloween release? Oh yeah, dude. Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could use that. Yeah, f where the fuck did he go? Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are gonna like that song too. I guess other Vin was looking for answers too. Hmm. Huh. The cards are different here. If you're swimming quick with Wait, an incoming judgment card, shocking change, chaos, and uphill. Okay. Where's the phone? 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 Oh, the hedgehog. Aw, what a cute little guy. Huh. This one's not broken. Oh, there's wow. the phone. Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. I hope this is the right code. Thank God. Uh, Definitely would have remembered that. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Oh. Oh. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That is really close. Oh. Oh shit. Who even were you, Sophie? Yeah, there's a lot of secrets. She didn't really tell me a lot about her life. There's the teacher. There's the stu the employee of the principal. I really thought mom. I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Sophie. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Oh, yeah. Vin and Sophie sleeping together? Gwen killing Sophie's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. Oh my god, is it the entire school? The worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! Oh. I can't breathe! Uh oh, crash out. Everyone stay back. Give him some space. Ah, this fucker. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. Oh. Everything's under control. Everything's under control. Oi. <laughs> Uh, but that. All right, an authority figure has arrived, sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. 
Can you run and get him some water? What do you see? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Oh, Fuck. oh, oh, oh. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. Why don't I'm we care? Mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Oh, would we be mad? <laughs> Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus for following directions then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Huh? Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't oh? gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta. Are the universes you... merging now? Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's alright. Wait, I'm a Thanks teacher? <laughs> I thought it was a student. <laughs> Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not <laughs> just gonna let me by, is he? You had the wrong title on it? Oof. That's a good thing that you caught it before it was out. Find a way around the cop. Better start heading up to the overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. Nice. Let's go. Oh, be right back. Oh, shit. I have some good news. Uh. It's big, but I can't tell you the Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now? You have 24 hours to From here, I should be able what to make it up to the overlook. Do? Oh, was there a cutscene back there? Oh, oh well. <laughs> God. I understand many of you are curious about the is it currents overlook. I assure you, your curiosity is more of a one. Ah, whatever. Oh, what is that? I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Oh shit. Hello? Speaking. Shit! Oh my god, that's spooky. The same hour as the beginning. Wait, is Sophie reaching no out to us? Reggie had a panic attack. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Lucas? So you will about his personality, but dude can compose an eloquent. Right. I hope you realize the gargantuan can of worms you opened by sending that picture of the restraining order to Sophie. I don't know, Lucas, maybe that can... Maybe that can need it to get opened. 
You are me, my enemy. Next coffee, I will have no reprieve, and I pray I don't either. Okay. Nine hours soon? Probably not. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wrap it up after this chapter. Oh. Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding me. Do you think it was a student who didn't like their final grade? I doubt it. Usually those kinds tip me off with an angry, poorly written email. So, do you know who did do this? No. Okay. Oh. Jesus. Why does it feel like Gwen's always got something wild going on? No matter what timeline I'm in. <laughs> trying to avoid me, Max? Uh... Trying not to bother you, actually. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know which universe this is. A joint? Ooh. No, thank you. No thanks. No for me then. Consequences? Huh? Now might be a good time to bring up Sophie's book. Oh. Before I came out. I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something, mm. said anything he'd figure me out but when I was alone I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up make him feel as small as he made me I've been there um well I forget Gwen what are we really talking about here? Uh, it's circumlocution, Max. A bad habit, I know. I'll leave a girl a few vices. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. Uh-oh. What is that? Confession? But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Uh, the principal? Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Oh. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. Did you do it? Huh. Well, at least it's not something messing around with the students. <laughs> Did you do it? You should fight this. I don't know what to answer here. <laughs> if, I, if I put, Did you do it? I feel like they're gonna explode. Oh god. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? That wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <laughs> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Oh, wow. Oh. 
Lucas shouting at his son, Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? Oh. What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon. To Yasmin. And to feeling powerless. I'm assuming that's just a copy. <laughs> Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. No card this is gonna be a spoiler, man. That's gonna be a spoiler. Oh! I bet. I'm in. Is there really a negative thing here? A safe version? I mean, why would they give her the evidence? Ah, fuck it. And, and we could have been playing it all this time, Coral. He just don't like me. I'm so ugly, that's why. <laughs> so, how does catharsis? How Jason the Wayne, Ronaldo, whatever his name is, they say, I'm so ugly to fish for compliments. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> I got so bored that I continue playing Life is Strange 2. Honestly, no, this is a cool game, though. Terrifying, but also. Feels pretty fucking great to set something on fire right now. If I didn't like it, it definitely would have ended a long time ago. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you hearing me. Hell yeah. Quinn, wait. I need to ask you something. Oh, shit. Well, uh, if I go, why did you kill Sophia's book? That will go escalation. If you, if I say, did you hear about Sophia's book? Fuck it. Is it true they canceled Safi's book deal? So she told you? Uh-oh. Word travels. You were her mentor, right? Do you know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck. Now. Let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. I didn't get the fucking... I didn't get... I, I didn't get the, the thing. 
Hey Max, a uh, weird question, but did you also feel a chill run down your spine a minute ago? Because I saw someone just walked across my grave. Which is crazy because I don't have a grave. Never mind, disregard this. <gasps> oh, they're actually emerging. Okay, cool. Let's hope the same thing is true this time, yeah? Or thinks he saw. Explore the crime scene. Dude, I can't believe I didn't get the... I can't believe they didn't confess. Or explain with what happened. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Well. There's three evidence markers. Okay. Is that her? Why is she here? <laughs> Did something used to be here? I can't remember. The gun was down here. Right? Did something used to be here? I can't remember. No way. Their body's here. Did something used to be Bruh. here? I can't remember. All right. Oh, shit. What do you mean, stop spoiling? The title says chapter two. Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? What are you doing here? Thanks for he helping with Reggie. Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? Lord have it was the I'm least I could do. Bust. Reggie's a sweetheart. <laughs> Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? Oh my god, what a twist, dude. No, I'm not letting her know everything. Fuck that. Fuck that, That's bitch. not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... Was this chick with the black hair? Her? I what? just want to make sure he's okay. It's Max. Honest. He will be. Wait, she got a ponytail? I think. I was going to come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... After the suicide tip? I don't know. Made it feel... Real. Wait. Suicide tip? One of the bee cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. She was in the Speaking trailer. Speaking of opening up, oh, I was probably uh, Sophia. I got a lead. Sophie. I could cut you in. Oh, what do you want in return, bitch? What's the catch? One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator. It sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just. I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. W manipulation. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. Oh, so this is... Uh, wait, who the fuck is Maya? You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. Explain something to me. <gasps> 
the Moises? Why is this so important to you? He's a podcaster. Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. Yeah, she's a content fan. Oh, is it Moises? Max? Oh. I have to go. I knew it. She's a content fan. That fucking bitch. <laughs> Just she got me tight. <laughs> Going on. At least Moises is alive. Was it diamond? Oh, new fit. Oh, wait, not the same. What the fuck is that? Got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. Don't call her that word. It's not cool, though. It is not. Please, Carl. Act like the alpha you are, not the not the not the beta. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. <gasps> what? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? He wasn't even there, though. Well, I did... Oh. Oh. I did do something. Oh. Uh-oh. Maybe that's why he's been tripping. I took Sophie's camera. Uh huh. I know. I took Sophie's camera. Where's that thing? What? After, Wait, after, it wasn't like a rational decision. After the fact? I wasn't thinking. I just... When we found her that night, uh -huh. I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. Oh, after the fact. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police what? <laughs> so i brought it back to my office why and then i realized what the fuck am i doing that's evidence in a murder case so i just hid it in there oh my god in my office. Moses. i screwed up max and now i don't know what to do all right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... So unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Uh -uh. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. Oh. Are you with the police? Don't you need a warrant to search my friend's office? Max, please chill. Vincent Alderman. Vermont State Police Detective. Uh-huh. I'm the lead investigator on your friend's case. In this instance, Dr. Fayad has granted permission to search any property belonging to Caledon. Uh... No... Well, in that case, I mean, he's already been given permission, so he doesn't need a warrant. So I can't really do that. If I do that, I'll be 
Oh, look like a fool. Dr. Fayed wouldn't like this. Does Dr. Fayed know you're going oh, after Fayed. Moses? I'm not sure what she would think of you using her permission in that way. I guess we'll find out. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Uh... Okay, now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Max, Jason Bourne, their ass. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? There it is. Definitely the right call. No one feels this. like partying. Oh, go, 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 go. Wow, these are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Oh. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Damn. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hopefully, hopefully in this universe. Is that Deadpool? Oh, wow. Hopefully in this universe, he's not like, um, whoa. He's not like very. Oh, hey Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> uh huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Um. Most prized possession? What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? But probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh. That's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda left field, but if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is oh. about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. You never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. All right, let's do it. Okay. A hard question. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like something I keep locked away? Yes. Yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. The maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. <laughs> rule bender, Max. Rule bender. <laughs> anyway, what's with all the questions? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah, I need an Allen wrench. On it. Oh, um, yeah. I know what that is. No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses her wrench. Jesus Christ. That's still annoying. Okay, find an Allen wrench for Moses. Allen wrench. Where would a tool be at? Larry the Alpha. <laughs> Even when I'm on this side, this picture reminds me of two nights ago. Where? Oh, where? Alan Wrench. Alan. R okay. All right. <laughs> you got me, buddy. Oh no, who's that? Who's that knocking on my door? <laughs> no 
are locked, and Alderman would hear them opening. I need another way. Okay. Alan Wrench. Alan Wrench. Oh, Alan. Just need to get Moses that wrench. Excuse me. This is a private conversation, Miss Caulfield. Alan Wrench. Excuse me. You need to let... Alan Wrench. Yeah, okay. I don't know. These open into Moses' office, I think. Yep. Well, <clears throat> I guess it's not here. Alan French. Okay, it must be something here then. Cute. They're all cute, really. Well, bless your heart, darling. I didn't sneeze. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. Alan. Yeah. This is why I'm not a physicist. French. Knowing at least one Moses gets a happy Christmas. Can't tell if that makes me feel better or worse. There's no way Yasmin would be okay with how Alderman is treating him. Moses is her prodigy. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true. And the wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. <laughs> Worth it. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. Alan Wrench. <laughs> oh? Is this a diary? God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used. Uh huh. So, this is how you set up the infamous depressed chess. Alan. Oh. Love this cozy little donut corner. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. Alan. Run. <laughs> he's alive here. Oh, God. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. Hey, man. I'm trying to find this Allen wrench. <laughs> I can't For find it. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. Allen. <laughs> I'm going to crash out. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light. Oh, her sweater. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. <gasps> oh, I'm in here. Oh. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm in here now. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize that was there. Oh my god, imagine it's right there. Imagine I don't have to do this. I could just grab it. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. If that's his hiding spot, that is the most obvious hiding spot ever. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. Alan... This must be for working on the mural. Wrench. Wait, can I open this? No, I can't. Alright, let's just go. Let's go. Better let's give this wrench to Moses. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. There you go. So 
I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. That's a good one, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. You're good, you're good. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. I didn't know you had an artistic side. Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. Hmm. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. With, with the contraband kettle, right? Uh, by Deadpool. Just give me just a second. Sure. Alan Wrench. So Grab the, the key. cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Grab the key. Go to the other dimension, universe. Take it. Come back. Jesus Christ. Oh, why is it so happy? <laughs> Grab it, take it. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, I thought the toy was here too. Oh my god, is it in, in here? Where's it? Where's it? Damn. No way, but off. What's that for? This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Thunder safe. Oh. Under safe. Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Where the fuck is a safe? Another one. Uh, what? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. Ellen. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of all of this. On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Let's figure it out. not a good day over here. Rocket ship. Anything in there? The maker of this mug sure knows our target audience. Okay, safe, 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 safe. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. Safe, 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 safe. Under safe. Under safe. Or I don't it... remember ever seeing an actual safe in this office. Yeah. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. Hmm. Maybe... Is in the other world? Maybe the safe is hidden somewhere. I should just ask Moses. Oh. Okay. Carpet. Oh, where'd he go? Oh. Will it 
distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Mural. So, the mural. <gasps> it might be there. What's the story there? I made the mistake of telling Safi I used to want to be a comic book artist, as she found a project that would force me to draw. Hmm. We're going to use my star projector to trace the constellation and then draw the twins around it. And Gemini, what's the significance? Really, I chose it because there are two of us and we'd be working on it together. But Safi imbued it with meaning, the scientist and the poet. Duality. She sells it better than me. Hmm. All right, let's rip it like a bandaid. Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? Oh, the locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star oh. called safe. Oh. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. Hmm. So Moses hid the camera under a star. Jesus Christ. Of course. There are stars oh everywhere. Stop. Oh God, I'm so cooked. <laughs> and they're safe on the lower left. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I, uh, I got this. Uh, enough from Carla. All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. Oh, who's Carla? This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. Under safe. They're safe. Is the camera around here on the other side? Uh... All right, but let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, because that would have been too easy. All right. <laughs> okay, game. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. At least Moses hid the camera well, wherever it is. Was that you? I thought I heard something. Oh my god, he comes in breaking in. Oh shit. <gasps> so safe is actually the star safe. Oh. Only Moses. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Dude, why didn't you take that, that piece of paper? As soon as that fucker comes in, he's gonna find it this must have been dropped off while Moses was out this must be for working on the mural all right okay 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 oh my god don't tell me sir no camera must not be the right safe okay It better not be here. Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? Oh my god, sir. Okay, it's not. <laughs> that would have been the most obvious place. It's gotta be upstairs. 
under safe. Come on now. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. Uh. Oh. oh, that's not that hard. Wait, is it? Oh, I got it. I think I got it. <clears throat> Bottom left. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. Ryan. And they're safe on the lower left. Okay, Ryan's right there. Oh yeah, why not? Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Brother, we're safe. Those stars on the wall has got to be safe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Moses and Safi. So different and yet. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. Safe is part of Orion? I can probably find Orion on that wall. Yeah, that's right here. Oh. So if this is Orion, okay. then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. I literally clicked on that earlier. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, God. Avoid detection. I'm cut. Shit, I can't let him see um. me in here. Um, I mean, I could just leave. <laughs> I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Wait, why not grab it right now? <laughs> Gotta be sure to keep Alderman away from this corner. Okay. Oh, shit. This could be a hard sell right now. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. I didn't want to show up right in front of him. Okay, so where should I plant this? Upstairs? Wait, no, no, no. Need to make sure Alderman won't see me when I shift into that timeline. Wait, I'm supposed to go over there? No shot, sure, right? Since it. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, hopefully this works. Oh, God. Shit. 
Here goes. What the hell? Go, 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 go. And now I need to shift out of here fast. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I can't. Oh, shit. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. I'm not cooked. <laughs> Dude, I almost saw it right there, so... So... <laughs> Oh, that would have been so bad. <laughs> Avoid detection and grab. Okay. Please. Wait, but this is covered. Right? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey. Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Oh, 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 oh. Why is it red? What the fuck? What? 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 The, the actual fuck? fuck? Okay, Max. Shh. That's... That's new. Oh, wow. I'm getting a major upgrade. Oh, shit. He's literally yes. right here. What am I? Gonna kill him? Oh, 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 go, 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 the telescope and all the parts switched places. Oh. I can move items or swap items, I mean. Oh. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo. What? <laughs> Come on, Moses, I got you. Moses. Oh, God, oh, God. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. Uh-oh. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, mm -hmm. can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield.
Wait, what? Why is this even a choice? <laughs> I mean, I should have just taken it. Fuck it. I'll start with my brother. No. <laughs> okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. Thank you for your concern. Thank you for your concern, Detective. I'll keep that in mind. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes. You are. Oh, ego got shattered. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Moses, wait. Oh, please. Please don't be a bad dude. Please just be a friend. Hell. Ah. He breaks it. <laughs> Yo, dude, these chapters are pretty long. They're like, each is like three hours. Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? What, three hours from here? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. No, 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 I'll no, join no, you no. soon. Okay. Bro! Oh, no. Dude, I would have looked at those Wait. pictures... Immediately. Wilder beasts than these by Lucas Colmenero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. Especially nine hours. Bro, uh, yes. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Dude, during those nine hours last night, I think it was nine hours. I woke up so fucking late because of that. I woke up like a uh, 5.30ish, I think. Loretta. Hey, Max, she dashed out in a hurry. Is Moses okay? Loretta, please chill. Hmm. I'm genuinely concerned. Moses is a good person. I'll ask because whatever was the Ugh, urgent. She's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. Was that urgent? It had to be important. It, it have anything to do with Sophie's death? Silence is its own answer, Max. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. Okay, love your fault. Oh my god, is that Robbie? Jesus. Okay. God, I hope Mos Moses is not. Big insight? I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could have told you that. Okay. We might switch fits, too. It's been... We've been rocking this fit for a while. Oh, another one. Ooh. Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, though. 
They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Five, actually. So, is this the one where they finally explain how he still walked around with no head, or...? Before she died, Moses was more Sophie's friend. Hmm. Here, we're all thick as thieves. Wish we'd had a chance to get to this point in our world. Nah, dude, like, with that, that camera, I would have immediately looked at it, because... Like, come on, man. Uh. Hmm. Is that a compartment? Does something come out of here? Hey, can I move those pegs? Hmm. Huh. I need a bit of space to examine the clues I've gathered. God. The first puzzle box tested my eye for detail. This one must test another Abraxas value. Yeah, maybe maybe later. <laughs> maybe that's for later. Not right now. Okay, I mm, I haven't been in here. Not yet. First, oh. I want to take a look at the uh, clues I picked up today. Oh yeah, I could do something else here. Oh my god, a selfie here. I bet the coffee table has enough room for my evidence. Hmm. Okay, let's go change fits. Hmm, or maybe I should do that next one. Nah, nah, nah. Let's do it now. Um, eh, that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Anything else in here? If there's a silver lining, it's that I've got another chance to take a proper candid of you. Okay. Well, let's switch. And this is reality. See if we can find oh what's that? Oh the scissors. Let's see if there's anything we could do here. Oh, why is it empty? With Safi alive in this uh, timeline, I I don't even know what to put here. If uh, anything. Oh uh, that's why it's not there. Oh. Oh wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. Okay. Is there anything that might be here that we could use? All the fucking trophies. Poetry books? I should crack those open eventually. Sophie's alive here, and she might ask me what I thought. 
Okay. Camera lenses. I loved telling Sophie how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Sophie's insistence, well, mostly Sophie's. Oh, another one? Oh, it's no. been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year. Okay. Can I go in here now? No, we can't. Moses is waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. How's it go? Uh, let's get to the bottom of things. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. Oh my god. I put together that it's him. That guy in my place, Moses. He appears behind me, whoosh, knocks me out. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. Oh yeah, the... okay. Lucas, I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. But there's clearly more bad blood here than I knew about. Okay. This was meant to be a loud message, but from who? And what does it mean? Hmm, uh, there's an empty slot, so I think I might have missed something. Guess I understand now why Gwen was so adamant about getting her book out of the case. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. Okay. Is that it? Oh. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Oh, wait, is he developing it? That's why it's a dark room. Oh. Oh god, here we go. I hope it's not Gwen. Oh, he is developing it. Why are you pacing back and forth? <laughs> Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Uh -oh. Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I mean, he has a whole boyfriend, so I don't see how he would. Well, I will be. I think. If there's something I can do, name it. You've been through a lot. We all have. <sighs> Thanks, Max. But I feel like you've already done plenty. How about we see if Sophie's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Oh. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Oh god. Here hey, we go. Look. She took one more photo. Oh no. Sneaky girl. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. What is this? What? What? <gasps> Max, you... You killed her? Oh, oh. Oh, what? <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> that isn't me. Of course not. What? No. Of course not. So that, that. It's Photoshop. A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. Yes, trust me. Let me explain. Or try to. Come on, dude. I backed you. Well? Okay, okay. Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? There's another timeline. Yeah, let's do first thing first. I have these... The first... Powers. Situation. Explain. Time powers. And somehow Safi's death is related to those powers. You might think we're crazy. Wait! Yeah. I can prove it to you. You stay the fuck away from me. Moses. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. How does that even make sense? I think, I think they mentioned, I forgot where, but they mentioned a dialogue where there's, where there's the current universe and then there's the other universe where she's alive. And then they reference another universe where some events didn't happen in the other two universe and that it happened in that. Maybe, maybe that universe is merging, and for some reason, those people are evil. Why would, why would people delete the photo? Oh, hell no. When? God, I, I kind of wish I saw that footage though. Oh, maybe that could have backed me up. Fuck. Oh, that could have backed me up. Okay, 60% refused to help the detective. Max helped Tim and guy get the, the bathroom key. Um, okay, okay. Helping Abraxas student mental health. Laura's green. Gwen's plants. Muck with Gwen. Okay, okay. All right. Chapter two. Done. What a fucking twist. What a way to end it with something very very unexpected i thought this whole time was gonna be moses but it was me <laughs> I said for so long that I built